Hey, what's going on guys? Good does Critic Wilson here. Today I'm doing a tutorial on Rocket Jobs requested by Mr. Pista. We're gonna start by installing Rocket Jobs, so click on the download button, open the extracted file, and drag it into your unturned plugins folder. So I'll be using a test server, so my folder will be named test, rocket, plugins, and just drag it in. Right, now that that's done installing, we can now go back to our unturned server and start it up. Now it's finished starting up, as you can see rocket jobs is loaded in. And we can shut down the server so we can configure both the plugins and the permission. So into back into our rocket and edit the permissions with Notepad Plus Plus, and edit the Rocket Jobs configuration. Right now that's both open. As you can see, I'm in the Rocket Jobs configuration, and we've got the permissions.config tab over here. So we're going to go over the rocket jobs. So here we can see public jobs. That means anyone can join these jobs by just using a simple command, join job and whatever job they want to join. These jobs are private jobs. So that means only the member inside, for example, the military group, the member inside military leader can accept request from a default user who wants to join the child group which is the military the same goes for the police private job the person in the person who is the police leader can accept requests from default users to join the private job police and that's about it for the overview now to add or delete jobs from this top line to the end tag over here, this is one job itself, same as from here to here, that's one job. And for the private job, it will be from here to here, private job, and so on for this one. Now we're going to delete two public jobs, so I'm going to highlight from here all the way back to here and delete, delete again, and there we go. And I'm gonna delete two private jobs. There we go. Make sure that all the spacing is correct. So these are the private job, and this is including the whole section. As you can see, the spacing is not the same as this one. Right, and also if you guys want to add a job, you can just highlight from here to here. Make sure you don't include the spacing behind it, copy it, go back here, enter, and then paste. There we go, spacing is all correct. Right, so undoing that, we're going to use the taxi and cook job. So going back into my permissions, and I'm just going to use VIP as an example. So make sure the ID of this group in permissions is the same as the permissions group in the jobs. So you see it's labeled taxi. Go back, make sure it's labeled taxi as well. And the display name can be whatever you want to set it as. So I'm just going to leave it as taxi as well. You can add your prefix and suffix. And I'm just going to delete this member over here. And we're going to create the cook job. So adding another group in permissions, refer to my rocket permissions tutorial on how to add and create groups and configure them. And I'm going to change the ID to the same as the permission group cook. So changing that to cook and display name. 
gonna set it the same and for this group I'm just gonna let it have the permission which is for example admin since I don't have the kit plugin installed and stuff like that so just go delete these permissions and for the private jobs we're going to have to create two groups for this one for military leader group and one for the child group of military leader which is just military so I'm going to show you how to do that just copy a group add it in and then change the ID to military leader and the display name can be whatever you want I'm going to just type in M leader prefix suffix whatever you want I'm going to change this to I which is to get items and now that we created the military leader group I'm going to have to create the child group which is military so adding another group I'm going to name this to military Make sure that the ID and the permission group is the same. The display name can be whatever you want, but obviously we want to leave it the same as military leader. Let's change this to military. Prefix suffix, whatever you want. And the permission, I'm just going to give this to V, which is vehicle. Spawn in vehicles. And the same goes for police group and police leader. We're going to add two more groups. So I'm just going to copy these two groups, paste it in, and then I'm going to rename the ID to the police leader. Display name police leader. Prefix suffix, and I'm just going to change the permission to heal. And obviously, the child group of police leader, which is just police. And display name, whatever you want. I'm just going to leave the permissions as just that. And now, if you want to create more child group inside the military leader, so for example, if you have a clan leader who's military leader and you want your members to have different kind of groups inside the clan or job for example so let's just say we're going to add another private job and we're going to leave the leader group the same and change this permission group to sniper and the job name to sniper and we're just going to add one group which is called sniper Make sure the ID is the same as the permission group. Display name can be whatever you want. And that means that military leader has two child jobs, which is military and sniper. So a person inside military leader can get requests from default users who want to join the group military or sniper whichever one they want but their leader group will always be a military leader hopefully that makes sense we're also going to have to add the default permissions as well for people to join leave accept and all the other commands in job so the permissions on this page right here job join job leave job accept job so go back into our permissions and under the group default we're going to add these permissions so jobs join job going to add more permissions as well as leave job accept job 
and job admin which controls the jobs and allows user to clear a job or force someone into a job that's most likely for admins so obviously I don't want that so I'm just going to delete these access permissions and since this is in group default all the other groups have the parent group of default so anyone in these groups will obviously have commands to this so you have to add these permissions to every single other job group now it's done we can now save it and close out of it and go and start our server now if you do make a mistake in the rocket job configuration such as the spacing when I just did this for testing purposes so when I reloaded rocket jobs I purposely edited out a line that made it incorrect so scrolling up when doing slash rocket reload jobs in game or in the console rocket reload job but as you can see it's not loaded because it's already been unloaded now in line 14 position 6 so going back into our configuration and line 14 position 6 so it doesn't seem like it's incorrect here but as you can see I didn't add the end tag over here so it just looks like this whole thing is connected all together so adding this here will fix the problem so save it and reloading the job plugin there we go it's perfectly fine and if you ever get an error with spacing for example if I cancel this out save it rocket reload job it should automatically correct the spacing but just be sure make sure the spacing is obviously correct because you, you never know if you're actually going to get errors and you want to avoid that as much as possible so to view the list of jobs you can just type in jobs and jobs public and as you see there's only taxi and cook and to view the list of private jobs so slash jobs private you see the list of private jobs which is military sniper and police however you don't see the military leader and police leader so if you want to join a public job so for example taxi just type in slash join job taxi and as you see I've joined the job taxi and when I do slash p I'm now in the group taxi and I have the permissions of the taxi group hill and v and my member got level so in this group as well so to exit back out let's see I have the permissions of taxi and I'm also inside the job taxi and to leave the public job taxi just type in leave job taxi and there we go I've left the job taxi so if I do slash p I'm back to my regular default group now if you want to join the private jobs you're going to have to have a person inside the military leader group so if I were to, jo to join the private job of military so join job military as you can see I'm unable to send a request to join military because no leader is online and the leader is the person who is inside this group right here, military leader. As you see, military leader, that's the leader group. So, same thing goes for sniper. If I were to try to join the job sniper, someone in the military leader group has to be on and to accept my request to join their child job. As you can see, I have added myself to the military leader group in permissions by just adding my Steam ID to it. And my friend is going to request to join one of my child group.
And as you see, my friend requested to join the groups. Accept job MBK, which is my friend. There we go, I've accepted the application of my friend. Now he's in my group. So I'm the leader and he should be in the child group military. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if it helped. I know there's a lot of explaining in this video and it's probably quite long. But hopefully it should get a point across on how to set up the rocket choice plugin. Let me know if you need any help. Leave the comments down below and catch you guys next time.